Good evening, this is Tina. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about request and response object inside the Express. Okay, Express extends some features on top of the vanilla Node.js API. And uh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. So I'm going to show you my slides. Okay, because otherwise I have to create each feature for each slides or several slides for several videos for one slide, which is really time consuming, but I don't have time to do now. Okay, so I'm going to just show you the slides to go over the topics. Okay, it's not that difficult. Oh, uh, does it work now? Let me see. Okay, now it works. Okay, so the request object. What is request object? Which means uh, suppose in our uh, Express, okay, we have a middleware. Oh, oh, can I write? Yes, I can write. Okay, suppose I have e e. I cannot remove now. Okay, can I remove? Eraser. Oh, I can do. I can do. Very nice. Okay. Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, pen. Okay. So if we're using app dot use, okay, then we can have a middleware, right? In the middleware, we have request, response, next, right? And then we here we have our uh, middleware. Okay. Uh, like this, right? Yes, like this. So this request object I'm talking here is talking about this request object. And from this request object, you can actually get a lot of things. Like the first one is to get a parameters. Okay. We will show you one example later. This parameter is to get actually the path variable. We'll show you in, in uh, next slides. Query, this one is to get the query string. And uh, if we're using like uh, the uh, uh, query parser, which is UI encoded, then it will give you the object. And you can get the route, current route. This cookie and the signer cookie is when you want to use uh, like uh, the uh, kind uh, like what's the thing? Oh, using the basic authentication. Suppose you just want to use a temp, uh, Node.js or Express to do the entire application, which means it has the back end and has a front end. Then we have to keep track of the user's information, which is a session, right? To keep track of the user because the HTTP is uh, stateless. In that case, you can have uh, the cookie. And for cookie, it has two kinds. The cookie, this one, is not uh, kind of like not signed, not encrypted. For signed cookie, which is kind of like encrypt, okay. Uh, request body, you already, I think you already know how to use that. This one is to retrieve the value for the post, HTTP post. Uh, and uh, uh, all your post data is going to be uh, saved. It's going to be retrieved by using request.body, okay. And here I will show you some example. Suppose here, here when we this is our request URL, okay? This is our request URL, and when you want when you're using request dot query, which means suppose I using app dot get, okay? And here I give I'm using the search, okay? And then I have a request response and the next okay and after that i using req dot query and when you're using req dot query it's gonna give you this part it will turn this query string into an object like this and for the query string this part is optional okay it's not mandatory it's optional and next one is the request parameter Request a parameter like this one. Suppose this is your URL, okay? And now we have a middleware to handle this URL, right? Handle this request. Take a look at the URL pattern here. It will match this one, match this part. See here, app slash app, then this is a one. 
and the one, the column ID. This is a placeholder for this one. And now this one, Josh, this part is a placeholder dot name will get the value. And now fair field, fair field, this one is going to be hold by this uh, column city. And uh, when how to retrieve the values, okay, then you can using request.prime. See here, I uh, using request.prime. Request prime, it's going to return an object, which is this part. And what's the key? The key, let me change to another color. The key part, the key, okay, sorry. The key is to match the key here, match this one, okay? And the value, this value is to match the here, match the one. And same for the name, the name here is to match this name here. And the value of the Josh is to match in the URL, this one. Okay, let me change to another color. And this one. And the city, this one, the city here is to match this placeholder. And the fair field here is to match the URL fair field, this one. Okay, so this is a parameter. And for the parameters, they are mandatory, which means your URL must contain, must follow the pattern in your request, must follow this pattern. Next one is a body. To using request body, you have to using a body parser. Uh, you can using the body parser or you can using the built-in uh, parser, which is express dot express dot ul encoding. And uh, because since the version uh, 4.16.0, uh, express started having the built-in body parser and uh, Behind the scene, underneath, it is still using the body parser, okay? So here, you can use in body parser, you can also use in express that you are encoding, okay? And you can choose to use in query string or choose to use in QS. And QS is not the core module. Query string is a core module. If you want to use in QS, then you have to install it. And for the request body, it only works for the post request. That's why here we're using post, okay? Because only post request has a body. For get request, there's no body, okay? And here uh, to get the value, we're using the request body. Suppose this one, this part is in your request body, okay? Which is uh, using a form. And then when using request body, it's gonna turn into an object like this. The key is a name, like a name. The value is the value here key value pair like this one okay that's it for this slide uh, next one which means in the request you can have other uh, you can also get a lot of uh, header information like uh, what's the uh, IP what's the path what's the host okay and it's a stateless or stale uh, what kind of language accept get or others okay and the sample domain original url protocol okay it's a is it a ajax request or not okay so you can uh do you can come back or search for the apis to uh see what do you want then you come back and use it okay so those information here is only for get the head information. And next one is the response. Uh, I think we have already used the redirect, okay, and the send, okay, and the render, okay. And the locals probably you already, I will, will I show you an example, okay. Uh, redirect, it has uh, like one overloaded method kind of like one you can give the uh, status one code and give the url the one we use is directly using this one redirect url right by default it's gonna give a status code 302 this is uh, frequently used inside the when we have a prg pattern uh, 
and you have to redirect. Otherwise, because the post is item port is uh, not item potent, so when you refresh the browser, it will gonna make another post request. So it's better if you have a post request, then you have to redirect to another get request instead of uh, directly render the page. Okay, redirect. And the redirect gonna make another round call. Okay, so it will make a call. It will ask the browser to make a call. And send, you can send any data like a string value, HTML. Send, I think it's, uh, if I remember correctly, it actually is a combination with uh, respond, which is na uh, uh, native, uh, the native uh, vanilla Node.js API, response dot uh, uh, write plus response dot end. These two operation, okay. Send equals these two operation. And JSON, JSON, this one is used for REST application. And uh, uh, we will talk about uh, later in the, uh, almost the end of the lecture. You can use in JSON. Actually, you can also use in the send to send a JSON value back to the client. Uh, because when we're using send, it will, the server side, it will based on your content okay to guess okay or to automatically to insert the continent type for us it's application json or it's application xml and this one is to wrap a function call and you can also send a file okay directly send a html file or other files for render render is to use to render a template engine a template right it's a part well, what we use is using uh, to render a EGS file and when we render you just need to give a template name because we already set do you remember here we already using a set then here we give view engine and here we give EGS then if our file is index index.egs Okay, when we render, you don't need to put index.egs file because when we have this configuration, oh, probably it's gonna be my, my, my what's the face is here. When we have this configuration, it will automatically look for this EGS files for you. So you don't need to have index.egs, you can just use index here, okay. And the locals is suppose in our index uh, index dot ejs right we have uh, some tags like a name which we want to insert a name right what we can do is uh, here we can put some object here right using name and the key value pair give tina so after rendering on the browser you will see tina gonna replace this part right so this is called the locals. Locals, which means you pass an object which will be used to render your template engine. And you can optionally give a callback, okay? And the response the local. This local here, this local here is exactly the same as this one, okay? So you can directly, suppose you want to give this name, right? You want to render this name on your EGS file in your template, you can give like this way using render. Directly put a locals when you render. The other way is using response local. You can use response dot locals equals name Tina. It will do exactly the same thing, okay? And the response status, which means uh, uh, normally we use in the REST. Because for the rest, we should be using different status code to represent different things, right? Suppose we are uh, using a create, 200 means okay. To be more specific, if we save some information, we should return 201, which means uh, I save this product successfully. 
right and uh, we can also return other if we have some errors we can return 500 or others like uh, if we replace some values we can return like uh, oh if some argument uh, or the JSON data which user send to my REST application which I don't accept then you can return something like a 422 which means uh, uh, illegal argument exception like that okay so next one we will give you some example take a look at this one response to local this one will be exactly the same as response dot render and you give index and you give title uh, cs572 here you can do it. they are equal these two okay you can use it this way or you can use it render directly past the locals here and for this one uh, we pass the locals they, 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 these two are also exactly the same the difference is uh, when we have app dot get right here we pass uh, API and here we have two middleware this one is one middleware this one is another middleware it's gonna go through one by one so in this case here we have two middleware which means this part this part is one middleware then I attach another middleware here okay so after the first middleware here I have a next here did you see here I have a next next means pass to the next middleware and in the first middleware we attach something in the locals and the the request response passing to the second middleware here is still the same object that's why in the net in the index we can still get these locals okay they are exactly the same this first and the second they do exactly the same thing but in different ways to do that okay or uh, another way to pass the data they are also the same like a uh, render and I pass index and I give the uh, locals here for this three this one and this one and this one these three that exactly the same okay to do the same thing except here the URL is a little bit different and this one is to do a response like uh, we're using a status we give a, a explicit uh, status code and we just pass a string to the front side okay next one uh, next one is finished okay so uh, this is a videos about request and response object and if you want to like uh, use some of them you can also check the API okay because uh, I don't expect we remember everything okay so that's it for this video hope you like it and uh, sorry I don't have time so I have to show the slides okay thank you and bye bye